Howdy folks, welcome back to Vintage Story. I've made it back to base. I didn't find any more copper, unfortunately. So what I did is I ended up panning uh, 10 uh, sand blocks. And that actually gave me enough copper to go ahead and make a hammer. So we got the hammer knocked out. And I went around to a few of the mines and gathered up some more copper. So we have enough copper now to make an anvil. And it is time to get our charcoal out of here. The charcoal pit is done. So today we're going to smelt some copper. We're going to make an anvil. And then we'll see what else the day holds. I've got enough copper for an anvil and I think maybe two or three ingots. Probably one of the first things I want to make is a saw. Because that really opens up a lot of possibilities. With the uh, planks and everything you can make from that. And then we're going to have to start concentrating on winter plans because summer you can see it's august it's going to be drawing to a close here before too long some of the stuff's starting to change maybe just because of the dryness i'm not sure you can see the colors on the trees those trees grew really fast these have not don't know what the difference is but anywho enough yapping let's get in here and get our charcoal out So you can just dig this with a shovel. Been going through a lot of shovels, but flint shovels are easy to make. There we go. It's a nice, good bunch of charcoal. That'll be plenty to get us started. And got a bunch of packed dirt, didn't we? We're overflowing. There's never enough storage. But now that we have the anvil, we can start crafting things like hinges and make trunks. All kinds of goodies. So I've got the crucible in here. We've got enough for... Oh, I, oh, that's right. I forgot. I went to another mine and, and got some more stuff. So we've got 1,800 units of copper. 900 of that will make an anvil. And then we're going to have nine left over. So I need to make sure we can handle that. I could just let it re-solidify in the crucible, but I'd rather not. Uh, we could make another hammer and another pickaxe as backup. Back in, oh, I see it. I put it way down here. Let's grab that. Let's just place these together. So we'll have nine left over. So we got six. Yeah, I need one more thing to do copper with. I don't think I have that of... Yeah, I don't think I have anything. So we may just have to have a little bit of copper uh, left over. Or what's the old pickaxe doing? Do I want another copper pickaxe? Maybe we'll just do enough to fill up the ingots. So we need 1,500 units. So we got 900 for the anvil. And then 600 for uh, ingots. Yeah, let's just do 1,500. So I need to take off some of this, which is a little tricky. So I had it all nice and uh, evenly split. So if we're doing 1,500, that doesn't divide super evenly by 4, does it? It would be... Would that be 40? No. Math is hard. <laughs> I'm recording this after a long week at work. So if we had 1,600, uh, that would be 400. Right? Times four. Each one of these is five. So that would be eight, eighty. So it's going to be pretty close to that. And then we need another hundred. Each one of those is five. So eighty-four, I think, on each one. We'll try that. I don't know if there's an easy way to just, say, take a number out of a stack. That's the way I do it, though. And I've been told that it heats more evenly if you spread it out. Nope, that's not right. I did my math wrong. <laughs> uh, oh, I went, the, I went the other direction. I think I should have went that direction by four.
We'll get it. Oh, that's so close. Each one of those is five. So it was 75. Right. It wouldn't be 76. Dummy. There we go. <laughs> Where's Rachel Riley? Riley when you need her? Uh, so that would be our 1500 units. So let's get that fired up. And we got our torch there. Let's grab some firewood. Get us started with some firewood. Let's get the heat going. I'm going to check my backpack. I don't have anything in there. One weird thing is... Can I do this if I... Is the ceiling high enough? So I pick this back up. There we go. Yeah, the ceiling is high enough. All right, cool. Sometimes I couldn't find enough space to actually get it to go on my backpack. So that's on my back. If you haven't seen that before, that's the carry-on mod. Uh, while that's heating up, speaking of mods... Thanks to a comment. I'm going to try to remember to put that in the video when I do the editing. Thanks for the comment. Somebody alerted me to the bear trap mod. Yeah. We can make those out of copper too, I see. Nice. Created by smithing. So I'm guessing we'll need a couple ingots for that. Oh, we need a nail and strip. Oh, you got to have black. Do you have to have black bronze? No. Okay, cool. So, two and a little odd ingots will get us a bear trap. Maybe we could trap that bear. The other alternative is to dig a bear pit and try to get the bear into it. And then that bear would keep other bears from spawning. But we could use the meat and the fat. So, I'm thinking we may make a bear trap with some of this stuff. That's the thought, anyway. Uh, so, that's, that's about as hot as the wood's going to get it. So this will go up to 1300, which is more than the 1084 we need. Actually, should I be using brown coal for this? Should probably be using brown coal for that. Oops. Oh, well, we've got plenty of charcoal. So I'm going to go ahead and throw that in there for now. So you can see here behind me, I've made some fire clay bricks because I want to make a bloomery. So that's something else we can do while we're waiting for that. So the bloomery, bloomery will let us do glass and then I can make some actual windows instead of, you can put like fences in here. I did that in my first series until I had glass, but I just, I didn't care for the look of them too much. For the bloomery though, we need to make a top a chimney. And then I think, is it like this? Yeah, there we go, bloomery base. And then we can fire the glass inside that. And then we make some windows. So let's put that down. That goes on top of it. And then we put glass in there. Let's well, borax. It looks the same icon. Uh, four pieces smelt into two glass. So we need a multiple of four. So we'll leave one behind. See, I can math. And then with the charcoal, we can fire this guy up. And I wouldn't put the charcoal away, did I? Silly of me. So I've still got 70 left over. That's cool. Uh, the glass... Do we have to use charcoal? I don't actually remember. Alright, that's on its way. It's got enough charcoal, so we're good there. Is it five? Six? Yeah, it takes six. Now we just need to light that up and then we'll get some glass here in a matter of hours. Smoking, so that's lit up. There we go. We're well on our way to having a whole bunch of copper. Uh, I need to get my tongs. Throw those in an offhand. Those in there. Do we have just enough room for the extra five? But as always, there's there's a lot to do. 
Um, I think I ground up some bone at some point. We need to go. Yeah, there's some bone meal. Uh, I need to get another big flax garden going. I haven't. I've been neglecting that. That's something else we'll probably do in this video is go harvest. There's lots to do, and I've I've done quite a bit between episodes, just because it would be like a 400 episode journey if I showed every little thing. Plus, a lot of you have seen it all before. So. Uh, oh shoot! Run out of charcoal. I've seen a lot of comments about a mod that fixes fireplaces, but I've never had the fireplace be an issue. I was talking about how it cools down instantly, but that's not been my experience. So maybe I'm misunderstanding what that mod fixes, or maybe since I started playing, they've rolled that fix into the main game. I don't know. Let me know about the, uh, the campfire mod fix. Better fireplaces, I think it's called. I see that mentioned in a ton of videos. But I've never had that be an issue, so I don't know if I'm just not understanding or if it's already been fixed. That should be enough to get us through. We're well across here on our smelting. Put that away again. May have to pull it back out in a panic. Uh, made some ladders. Found out if you dig straight down to the copper and then put ladders and climb down, it uh, doesn't seem to collapse around the ladders. So I had a little better luck getting this last round of copper. Yeah, that smelts at 1084. Why are you stalled out? Too hot? Is that a thing? It's cooling off kind of quick. Maybe that's what they're talking about. Still 1300 degrees. So I would think it would continue smelting. We'll keep an eye on it. I don't think we need 1300 degrees though. If we need to feed it more, we'll, we'll throw some brown coal on there. But it won't, until this number starts dropping, it's going to keep smelting. Maybe the fireplace thing is when you take stuff out. Never, I've not ever noticed whatever the issue is they're talking about. Yeah, see, now the temperature's coming down, but it only has to be 1084. I guess that was my arm. I was like, what's going past me? <laughs> it's your arm, buddy. You're okay. Come on. Hang in there. I think we're going to be fine. We still got almost 200 degrees of excess temperature. We're getting pretty close across there. It's like washing a, a pot boil though. So I'm excited to get a saw made because we can start making tables and stuff instead of having a hay bale table. <laughs> we can make a bucket so I can actually have a, a water source up here at the house. There's just a lot of possibilities once you get that saw made. Oh, it ran out. Darn it. There you go. So that'll kickstart it. Yeah, that's going to go. So we'll kick that over in there. I uh, found a bunch of lead roaming around. We've got a little bit of sphalerite. But uh, not not quite enough to make it an ingot. Smelting has taken just short of forever. Luckily, the rift activity is calm. There's a violent storm outside, though. Apparently, I kind of wish the wind was better in this game. Like, it varies all over the place all the time. We'll see how that plays out with the uh, the wind mod and the sailing. I would like to make a sailing vessel at some point. 
All right, let's get across the finish line here. You're you're almost there. Let's go, Crucible. We need a mold. An anvil-shaped mold. Let's wait for you over there. Hey! He finally did it. <laughs> All right, 900 units of liquid copper coming up. can't overfill which is nice um so we decided just to do these right oh what's that all about i wasn't standing on it that just too close got scalded i guess i could pour from way over here i'm just that talented <laughs> All right, there we go. Nope, I want you back here. There. Back on the tool rack. Now it's just a waiting game. So while we're waiting, we're going to go uh, harvest some stuff. Where is my extra, extra hoe? Hopefully there's no bears around. Can bears climb over fences? I'm guessing they can because they're huge. Uh, mature flax, mature flax. I think, except for that. A lot of this is mature. Oh, that's growing flax. There's mature. Oh, you do get more. Oh, that's growing. Yeah, thanks for the tips on harvesting with the hoe. I didn't know that was a thing. That's mature. Okay, and then these guys are just not doing much. Looks like they need water, though. Fair enough. Let's grab you old watering can. Nope, right click. Oh, you got a water already? You got a water, too? Help, I can't water. <laughs> oh, it's empty. It is empty. Okay. Well, I guess I'll have to fill those up. These trees grew a lot faster than I expected. Got a little bit of firewood set aside. There we go. We got an anvil on the way. Uh, I need some food. We're getting a lot of grain put together. So we'll, we'll be okay for eating for a while. We'd like to get maybe another turnip crop in. We'll go put this in the cellar. Uh, I went ahead and hollowed that out and stuck the candle over there so I didn't have to move the candle every time. Two in there. Yeah, we're getting lots of, lots of grain, which is great. Decent amount of flax as well. Uh, we can actually make a door, too, once we get the planks. A room in here? No, we're pretty much out of room. Got to get some chests made. Uh, I need some food, too. How are we doing on food? Do I have any food up here? I do not. I should have got some food while I was down there. But as you can see, we've got quite a bit of twine. Which is great, because we're going to need to make some clothes at some point. I need to go hunting. I need some more pelts. So one of the things you can do with primitive survival is you can make uh, either floor rugs or mounts with your pelts. So that's just a, a wolf pelt. I can break that off and and uh, turn it back into a pelt at any time. But we're going to need some warm clothes for the winter. And I want to make the fur stuff. So we're going to have to go get some fur. And I'm going to have to get some food. So I think I'm going to do some cooking. And I will catch you all in the next adventure. Or do you want to watch me cook? I don't know how much cooking I've done on this series. Let's show that real quick. Because we can do... We've got a lot of... Uh, 
lot of rye grain, so we'll grab that and we'll grab these berries and we'll grab these. And we'll make a nice. Can we can we put that in porridge? I might only be able to put the the currants in the porridge. Uh, I need to get some more meat together. I haven't been over to my fish for a while. We just eat a carrot real quick. Not a carrot, a turnip. <laughs> there we go. I'll up a little bit. Wonder maybe I should just run down to the fish trap real quick. Uh oh, current rift activity very high. Well crap. <laughs> run! Thought that bear would turn into rot, but it may be bugged out. Oh, there's a rift right down here by the shore. Perfect. Um, I had a comment that said you didn't need to bait the hooks to catch fish. Not 100% sure on that. My experience has been if you don't put bait on there, no fish ever show up. But maybe it's just because the fish didn't show up. I don't know. See, there's all these hooks on here. I didn't rebait these. I think these two possibly were the only two left with bait. I'm not 100% sure. But we might test the theory. Maybe I just won't put any bait on any of these hooks. Actually, I should make some more hooks. We need uh, one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven more hooks we could get on here. And uh, we can make those out of bone, or I'll probably make them out of flint because bone we can use for bone meal. Well, that's a couple decent sized fish, but I don't think that's going to be enough uh, fish meat to make any kind of a stew. So I need to up my fishing game. They do brought on the line, by the way. I discovered that because after I got back from that big journey, which I think was the last video as I record this, uh, there was some rotten fish on there. And uh, some fish about ready to rot. There's a rift right next to my house. Super. Hopefully they can't spawn in your house. I don't know if that's a thing. Yeah, these are going to only yield two a piece, so that's not enough. Not enough to make a stew, but we can cook it, cook it up real quick just to tide us over while I'm cooking the other stuff. fire going there we go didn't take too long to cook let me cook that up and then i'll close out the video by just showing how you make food just for those that may not have seen that before back in a bit all right we got some delicious fish fillet so i chowed those down now if i stick the pot on there so you need uh, an equal amount, up to six, of in these first two slots of the same thing. So if we do that, we get six in each. That will make porridge. And then can I do... Oh, you can do turnips. Okay, and then we'll do that as well. So it has to match these six, 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 six. So that will make six servings of ripe porridge with mashed turnip and red currants. So then we get benefit of... The grain, the vegetable, and the fruit all in one cooked meal. And then the cooked meals just give you more satiation and more benefit in general. And I've been doing pretty well. We're a little low on veggie, so I want to make sure we get some turnips thrown in there. And this being high determines your total health points. So it's important to keep that all balanced out. Your baddies outside, but it's okay. We've... We've got food. Just gonna sit here and watch the pot boil. Thanks as always for watching, folks. I will catch you in the next adventure. Take care.